Hello, Jason here. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to answer the question, what's best, the main sewer or a septic tank? So why would you choose a main sewer over a septic tank? Or why would you choose a septic tank over a main sewer? Well, let me show you. So here we've got a house that isn't connected to anything at the moment. Now, the law states that if you live within 30 meters or 90 feet of the public sewer, then you have to connect to one by law. That's it. No ifs, no buts. Now, what about if you live um, 31, foot, uh, 31 meters or 100 feet away from the main sewer? Well, you don't have to connect to it by law. But would you, <laughs> even if you had the opportunity? Well, let me give you the two options or two scenarios and you choose for yourself. So let's say, for example, you lived 100 feet away, right? So you could connect to the main sewer or another option, popular option, is to connect to a septic tank and soak away like this one. Now, why would you choose a septic tank and soak away over the main sewer? Well, simply because of cost. To install a septic tank and soak away, like the septic tank and soak away kit you see here, will cost you um, about 1,500 quid, right? 1,500 quid. To connect to the main sewer, right, will cost you a staggering, right, a staggering 14 to 80,000 pounds to connect to the main sewer, even if you're not forced to do so. And that's the scenario or situation I was in. That's how I got into the business. We were connected to a neighbor's property. I was having to pay 90 pounds a week to empty their septic tank. I couldn't do anything about it. And I had two options. We could connect to the main sewer, which was about 100 foot away, but they wanted 14,000 quid and I didn't have that kind of money spare. I still don't, you know. However, the other option, right? Option two was to install my own septic tank and soak away. And that is what I gladly did. Not only did it fix the neighbor's problem, you know, <clears throat> of having to fork out 90 pounds a week, right? It also meant that I didn't have to spend 14,000 quid on connecting to the main sewer. So um, do I regret it? Well, <laughs> no, not at all, right? As I said, not only did it save me a lot of money, but a septic tank and soak away because then they're, they're not electrical, the upkeep and the maintenance of them is is almost zero. Do you know what I mean? So so it's not even swings and roundabouts, you know. For me, it's a no-brainer. So if you were to ask me the question again now, right, and that is, you know, if I had to choose whether to connect to um, the mains drainage or the... Um, a septic tank and soak away for me it would be a septic tank and soak away any day <laughs> it's a it's a no-brainer mm. why well unless you've got a hundred thousand eighty thousand pounds spare fifty thousand pounds spare to connect to the mains drainage then uh, then you know i would say probably 99.9 .9 of people in the country um would opt for a septic tank and soak away. So there's your answer. So I'm not saying you will necessarily do that, but I am biased, I have to admit, because I've been in that situation. But but if you are in this situation whether and you don't know whether to go for the mains drainage or the uh, or a septic tank and soak away, basically it boils down to cost. That's it. So um, listen, I hope this video has helped you today. Um, if you'd like to see more free videos, then just go to Septic Tank TV. That's my YouTube channel. If you subscribe to my Septic Tank TV YouTube channel, then you'll be in with a chance to win a free Septic Tank and Soak Away kit. So listen, thank you very much for watching this, for taking the time to watch this video today. You stay safe, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.